Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do this look right here. And I was thinking since you know November started, I was thinking of using November colors. And I know that on the camera, my eye makeup, the like this right here, this color, it looks a little pink. But it really isn't. It's actually red. For some reason, my camera is being a dork and <laughs> it's not getting my red. So it wants to be pink. So just let you know, it's actually like <laughs> a red. Okay. So the products I'll be using will be linked on the bottom. But I'll just show you guys on camera. So. What you want to do first is prime your eyebrow, your eyebrow, sorry, prime your, prime your eyelids. And what I'm using is Wet n Wild Primer. Okay, so you let that dry for a little bit. Now what I'm going to use is basically a base to brighten up the colors a little bit more. And this is Ida Olea, I think, Deluxe. That's what it is. I got this at the swap meet, my local swap meet. So, but I've been using this a lot, <laughs> like crazy, a lot. I really went through one of them. So it's my second one. I need to go back to the swap meet and get another one. But it's a white. So you can you can use like a mix cosmetics. Jumbo white pencil, which a lot of people use. Anyway, I want to grab some of that. started doing makeup I always had trouble finding my crease so I would do sometimes I would do like a little line just to see where it is and I'm like okay that's not it but to me I think that your crease is wherever your bone is where you can actually don't poke your eye out but just to gently just push in and you can feel the hollowness and where the bone is. So like right now, this is where my bone is. If you you ever have trouble finding your face, that's how I so, found mine. Today, basically, the palette that I'm going to be using is uh, uh, BH Cosmetics 120 Color Palette Eyeshadow, 5th edition. And I gotta say, if you are starting off on doing your makeup for the first time, the best product to use that's not too expensive is BH Cosmetics. And they're, I'd have to say their eyeshadows are really good. They're really nice, pigmented, and uh, they last you a long while too. Um, I remember my first BH Cosmetics my best friend gave me for my birthday as a gift and I still even have it. I mean, most of the colors are almost gone, but I've had it for so long. But yeah, um, they are the best brand makeup brand to start off with. If you can't really afford anything online, um, another one is Elf. I love using Elf. Elf is really cheap and affordable and. I suggest you guys start off with that also if you guys can't buy online BH Cosmetics. <laughs> yeah, e.l.f. is one of those products you would be able to see like at a Walmart, at a Target, some stores carry them and they're affordable. They have brushes too, which I'm actually, I use actually. Like the first one I'm going to use right now is this one and they're, they actually last very long too. So, okay, so enough chatter. I'm going to be using this color right here. And 
this color right here. And I'm going to mix it just a little bit of this color. Just a little bit. Just to give it a little shimmer to the red. Like this. Like reddish, like dark burgundy, burgundy color. It's like a really cute color. I love it. So gorgeous. Just a tiny bit, not too much. And you want to work your way in a little bit to blend in this, these two colors. stay in place. Now what I like to use right after I'm done applying my eyeshadow, I usually see like a lot of eyeshadow pigment on the bottom of my eyelid and I like to clean it out with uh, Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I love this stuff. 
like really nice. Hey, so my camera decided to die on me. So, uh, this is the finished look, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye.